Hello YouTube, I'm Player One, and thank you for joining me today. As you guys may know, I've been on a journey in searching for the Lugia V alternate art from Silver Tempest. I think we're going on 182 days, 83 days now, give or take a few. I'm only opening one pack a day during my daily shorts, so I wanted to see if I could give myself a little bit of a boost and open a little bit of a variety of Silver Tempest packs and see if I can nail it to date in this video. And just to show you guys the packs that I'll be opening today, we got this Marida, Maridon, or Sprigatito Paldea collection. Has a couple of Silver Tempest packs in there. Also gonna be opening up two sleeve packs. We also have two packs out of a booster box and we have one build and battle uh, collection box or build and battle deck box. So without further ado, let's just break into these products and see if we can nail this Lugia V in one of these. And we're just gonna go ahead and start off with the Sprigatito box. The Sprigatito box not only includes Silver Tempest packs, but it also includes uh, Brilliant Stars packs. These are the three starters that come in the Sprigatito box. This is the jumbo card that comes in the Sprigatito box. And this is the Sprigatito pin. Like I said, the Sprigatito box also comes with Brilliant Stars packs. So we're gonna go ahead and knock these out of the way first. We do have quite a few chases in the in the brilliant stars set uh one of them oof white code card shouldn't have shown that but one of those would be the alternate art charizard we got a blunder policy and a drid drudgegon so pulling the charizard would be a great little bonus today nothing both duds out of the brilliant stars packs now we're into the meat and potatoes First Silver Tempest pack up, we got a Regilecki. Guys, like I said, we are still searching for that Lugia V. I did see an edge on this, not necessarily a yellow edge. It was more of a darker edge. Uh, could have been something out of the trainer gallery. We don't know that yet. Bull picks. Oh, Corviknight VMAX out of the later half of the trainer gallery this is definitely a card that i needed followed by a fione first silver tempest pack of the day and we knock this card off of our binder list look at this look at the amazing artwork corvanite taxi service that's where it's at let's put that over here in the corner get this stuff out of the way and we move into the second silver tempest pack of the day like i said we are close to, I believe, we are looking at 200, or close to 200 days of packs so far. Uh, I've opened way more than 200 packs if we're just counting. If we're not just counting the days, I've opened a whole entire booster box. I've opened other Silver Tempest packs in my regular openings. It's just, the, the Lukia seems to evade me all of the alternate art seem to evade me because I still haven't pulled one. Oh my god, a golden leafy camo poncho. This Sprigo Tito box was on fire. Look at this. Such another beautiful card. Let's get a sleeve on this one. And that is another card that we are knocking off the binder list. Incredible. Two spectacular pulls at the beginning of the video. Hopefully, that doesn't drain our luck for the rest of the video. With that, we're moving straight into the build and battle boxes. Now guys, I know the build and battle boxes have really broken pull rates from what I can tell. Silver Tempest Archeops promo. A lot of people say that the early build and battle boxes from the build and battle tournaments, they usually have really broken pull rates. We got four packs out of that build and battle box. Let's see how broken these hit rates are. Guys, what an amazing couple of packs out of that Sprigatito box. Wouldn't you agree? It was just incredible to pull a, uh, what is it, a Secret Rare Trainer Gallery and a gold card. Amazing. We are breaking into this first pack of this Build and Battle box. Hopefully, we got something good. We have a Reverse Ferrothorn followed by a regular Rare Frostlass. In addition to the Lugia V Alternate Art. We are still missing a couple of key uh, regular cards. We are missing uh, a regular hollow crocodile, 
We're also missing a reverse holographic uh, Dragapult. Or, or was it a regular Dragapult? I don't remember, but we're missing one of those. There's still a couple of cards in addition to the Lugia V. Not, not counting all the rest of the alternate arts that we still need for the binder set of Silver Tempest. Regular Among Us. So far, this uh, build and battle box has not been living up to the hype of the build and battle pull rates. Let's go ahead and get that card out of the way. I saw a little white edge, but that looks like a V Star marker. That is our important card right here. I'm just going to leave that in the back. Starting with a leafy, ca leafy camo poncho. Guys, go ahead and smash that like button. We're trying to get. Oh, shiny edge there. Shiny edge there. Let's see. Got a black, so it's probably just a regular V card. Ooh, a Hisuian V RK9. There we go. Guys, get a good look at that. Nice little art. Still need the full art version of that. Let's see if this build and battle box can pull through on the last card. Got the code. Make sure you got it. We are one, two, three, four cards. We are looking kind of, uh, I would say we're looking kind of good so far in this opening. We got two secret rares, a secret rare gold card, and a secret rare trainer gallery, plus just a regular ultra rare V card. Oh my god, another secret rare trainer gallery and a Mawile V. Well, I don't know if this is a secret rare or what, but this and a regular forest seal stone. But look at this Mawile V. This is another card that we needed for the binder. Let's get it in a sleeve. We're going to go into pack out of the booster box this happens to be the first pack out of the left side of the booster box let's go ahead and get this going i think i saw some kind of special edge on the side there i still see the glare not the glare the little glitter guys i trick myself with the reverses all the time but that glitter was not the reverse it had to be something special looks like it's another regular v card an ursa luna v the second one that i've pulled of this set still an amazing looking card next pack out of the booster box kind of uh <laughs> we're just gonna skip through that there, there's some kind of bias whether it's the left side or the right side guys anything special back here i don't think so just got a regular cling kang cling clang nothing spectacular out of the back we are moving into the final two packs of the opening two sleeved packs loose packs that you find at the store just wanted to get a little bit of variety in here because uh you know sometimes you get a lot of boosters you know they're seated when you get certain uh boxes like booster boxes or even elite trainer boxes a lot of people will say are seated so when we open up a random assortment who knows what we are going to get maybe a little bit towards the good maybe a little bit towards the bad it will be skewed one way or another so far i think we've been skewed in the positive direction the last sleeve pack will this one contain the lugia v do we have some final and incredible last pack magic guys there's only one way to know we have that off to the side one two three four cards to the front guys i feel it i feel it in this pack there's something special going on here let's take it very slowly we got a fighting energy we got a serena guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel make sure that this pack is a banger drowsy Growlithe, Mistrevious, Whalmer. We're in the final two cards. We have a reverse Haunch Crow. I see some glitter, and I think it's a textured card. Guys, oof, definitely a textured card. Silver Edge. I think it's a rainbow. Might be a rain. I think it's a rainbow. Oh, Rainbow Lance to end it. What an amazing last pack pull. Guys, let's sleeve it up. Let's get this thing in a sleeve and get this guy 
on the table. Let's go ahead and recap our spectacular opening. Guys, we have opened a total of 10 packs today and we have seven hits. Not, like I said, sometimes you skew towards the positive, sometimes you skew towards the negative. Today, we definitely skew towards the positive. We started off in terms of rarity from least rare to most rare. We have the Forest Seal Stone, basic holographic card. We have a Ursaluna V, and we have an Arcanine V. That is the least of our rares. From there, we swing into a Mawile V out of the Trainer Gallery. Guys, look at the art on this card. That is an amazing art. Look at the texture. I think, I don't know the trainer's name. Is that BB or BD or Betty? One of them. That is a good looking card. I love the angle on that art. From there, we stick into another Trainer Gallery Secret Rare. We got a Corviknight VMAX. Another amazing art. Look at the taxi on the top. We all know that the Corviknight uh, usually will carry it from the top. You see those little handles there? But in the VMAX form, he just carries it on his head like a little crown. From there, we swing into the last slot rares. We have a Leafy Camo Poncho gold card out of seven, out of ten packs, seven hits, including a gold card and a rainbow card. Guys, what an amazing pull. Look at this Lance rainbow card out of ten packs. This, this is a great great video guys thank you for joining me today make sure you smash that like button follow me on my journey in my shorts looking for that lugia v alternate art subscribe to the channel and get me to 800 subscribers i'm planning to open every single crown zenith product that was released on my 800 video special maybe i'll do a live stream and do it all live but one of each product it's over 90 packs and i just gotta throw a few in there to make it around 100 and don't forget to click the like button and spread this video out. Share it with all your friends. Look at this haul. Guys, I appreciate you guys joining me today. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.